What's up guys, Asian here again with another Elsewhere PTS video and today we're going to be exploring just exactly how the Grim Focus uh, new damage reduction uh, passive uh, to this ability actually works. Um, so whether it adds in multiplicatively with all the other modifiers like is anticipated or if it's working in some other fashion. Um, now for those of you guys who haven't been keeping up with the PTS patch notes, as of 5.0.2, uh, Grim Focus now has a damage reduction uh, associated with it. So with both Morris, Unrelentless Resolve, and Merciless uh, Focus, you get a 3% damage reduction for each light or heavy attack that you have up to 5 stacks. So for every stack that you have of your Bolt Rock, you get that 3% additional damage reduction up to a 50% damage reduction. Now, uh, what has I've seen on the PTS forums is that this might be bugged uh, in that the 15% is actually taken after everything else is already calculated. So all your damage mitigation is previously calculated and then the 15% from a lot less focus or most resolve is tacked on to the end of it, uh, resulting in a much more uh, effective damage reduction than if it was just added in multiplicatively with your other modifiers uh, like your resistances, like blocking and so on. So uh, I figured I would go into Vet Asylum and kind of confirm these results for myself and see whether or not it is uh, multiplicative with all the other modifiers or if it's being tacked on at the end as kind of a, a byproduct there. So the way I'm going to be testing this first is uh, I'm going to be doing this on St. Holmes. And this is on Vet, uh, so he is going to one-shot me, but the, the idea that I'm supposed to be survivable is not really the important thing here. The important thing is taking a look at the death recap and looking at how much he actually hit me for with his wall swipe. Uh, now, the first test I'm going to be doing is going to be just unblock. I'm just going to stand there and let him hit me. Um, that will give me a base number, and then I'll use Merc uh, Merciless Resolve uh, and get my five stacks up. That should give me 50% damage reduction, and then we'll see what the uh, damage recap is at the end uh, when he again one shots me once I get my five stacks up. Then we can compare those two numbers and see whether or not the damage reduction is acting multiplicatively with other damage modifiers or if it is acting uh, in a different way. And then to confirm that it is just this Grim Focus that is acting up and not, for example, uh, all damage modifiers, I'm then going to apply Minor Maim through the Shades ability and block the first hit. I'm still probably going to end up getting one shot, but again, that's not the important thing. Survivability is not important. It's just taking a look at a death recap for that final number. And then we'll do the exact same thing with Grim Focus and see whether or not the results are consistent across those four different scenarios. So let's go ahead and get uh, Ohm's spawn here. Now again, I am anticipating getting one shot. That's pretty much how, how it's going to be because I'm on the stamina DPS build. Um, I am not wearing anything out of the ordinary, just your typical stamina and DPS build that I've been running for quite a while now. Uh, we do have this much resistance, so 16.9%, and I'm not going to be using surprise attacks, so I will not get the major ward, major resolve. Um, in terms of abilities, just typical ability bars, again, I'm not really changing anything up. And then for CPs, you have to take consideration red CPs when I calculate out the damage and see whether it's multiplicative or not. So, hardy, 13%. And ironclad 24%, so I will have to add those in to get the uh, calculator here, so I will not be uh, necessarily uh, be wrong or incorrect. Uh, so just have to make sure everything is uh, taken into account here. So I have my resistances, ironclad, hardy, and then eventually I'll also have the merciless resolve, and then also minor maim and uh, blocking as well. Now, I will be blocking on my dual wield bar, so I don't have any sort of additional passives uh, to block uh, from the Nightblade passives at all, so it's just going to be the 550%. I'm going to pick up... Oh, if I get the shades, then I will actually end up getting the word mixed up. Okay, we'll have to account for that as well. Cast shades, that'll be just for later. Okay, so we're just gonna let him wheel on me. Again, we're there taking a look no at a damage recap. Only judgment. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, I don't want him to be steam on me either. I actually want him to actually hit me with his claw. There we go. Oh, I do, forgot to pick up. Boy. Uh, forgot to pick up uh, soul gems when I. So let's see, 96, 281. Let me just record that really fast here. So that is, that's what happens when you get hit by ohms without blocking in your DPS. You get hit by a lot of damage. 96, 6, 281. You actually pick up. 
backup soul gems now. Five there, and I'd have to run through uh, the whole thing again. Okay. Six two eighty one. All right. So if this does stack multiplicatively, uh, then let's see how many do I have here? Nineteen. That's nine five device. Okay. Yeah, so that'd be sixteen nine percent. Alright, so let's see, 16.9, uh, that would be, it'd be 84, 3.1, uh, 24 from Hardy, so that'd be 76, I have 13, 87, so if it does act multiplicatively, uh, then we should see, here, get this, uh, I'm doing all this off screen here. Eight five for the max here. So you should see about an eight percent reduction in damage taken. Uh, so I should be seeing. Uh, there's mental mapping it right here. Probably around uh, nine. No, oh, more than nine k. Less than 90k, about 88, 89k uh, is the hit when I have Mercy Resolve active. If I do not, uh, if it is acting completely separately, uh, then it should hit me for 81.8k. So we'll see whether it hit me for low 80s or high 80s. Now, activate Merciless here. Get all five stacks here. Alright, so I have all five stacks. Again, I do want him to hit me with his claw. Exact same attack. 81911. That is the lower number, so that's assuming that the 85% uh, damage mitigation is tacked on at the very end. So it does not act multiplicatively, as you would expect. Uh, now, to make sure that this is acting as it should, uh, as you should say it. To ensure that all the other damage modifiers are acting as it should, we'll be using Minor Mame. And I will also have Major Ward Major Resolve here, so I just have to real quick calculate that out. So that's 80. Although, it only lasts for 6 seconds, so I don't think it should be up, because he does his two moves first. Alright. Alright, so again, this is going to be without Merciless, so uh, again, this should be roughly... Uh, 8% reduction, so let me just real let me get an exact number so we can get an actual estimate here. Nine, five. Yeah, so it's about an 8.2% reduction. So let's see, 621 times 918. Should see yeah, about 88385 should be the amount that we see uh, with shades up. Uh, there is no justice here, only judgment. Oh, that was easy. Uh, 81.839. Might have... Major Ward, Major Resolve up. It should last only 6 seconds, so they shouldn't have had it up. Um, but if I did have it up... Let's see what my damage value would have been. Okay, so... Hundred. Nice. I will show you guys all the math that I'm doing off screen at the very end of this video here. Eight. Seven, three. Okay, so 
even then that shouldn't have okay so i think it might be something weird happening with damage calculations let's try this again fade up not have oh i should put that thing okay so i don't have my resistances anymore i don't have a bunch of resistances Almost definitely still has minor name on him. And 81, 3, 8, 39. So, it seems like minor maim is also not applying multiplicatively. Double check that we did have minor maim on here. So, yes, we did have the minor maim going here. Alright. Yeah, we. See. Taken damage received, yeah. 83. Um, okay. So let's let's try with just blocking see if no be taking exactly error. half as much damage judgment. as the 96. I mean it's still gonna end up killing me. I'm gonna block his boss wipe. So 48, 141, so the blocking seems to be working appropriately. Okay, so let me get the shade value one more time here. There is only torment for you here. Is eight one nine. So eight one eight nine, and if it is uh, acting completely separately, then it should hit for sixty nine five sixty three or thereabouts. If it is not acting uh, separately, it is acting multiplicatively as expected. Uh, then we should see. Quick, get some values here. Should end up being about a seven percent reduction. The exact reduction would be six. Yeah, about seven point one percent. So if that was the case, eight one eight three nine times point one. That would be three ninety two point nine. Then we would see 76. So it's either going to end up being 69, 5 something, or 76 something. Let's go ahead and do this. Redemption is a lie. There is only torment for you. So we have all of our stacks here. Breath. Shades and vulnerable. We get 9, 6, 24. So it does seem like. Mercilessly resolve that damage reduction is not adding in multiplicatively. Now, whether that is intended or not, we're not 100% sure. Um, I would imagine that it's not intended. I'd imagine that it actually is supposed to stack multiplicatively rather than um, just tack on at the end here. Uh, so, real quick for you guys, so you guys can see kind of what I'm talking about in terms of the mathematics. Uh, so, both as well path here. So this is what I was doing kind of in the background here. So this was the initial hit. Um, this was just to kind of calculate out my mitigation. Uh, obviously without the major word major resolve now. Um, so this is the amount that I was initially uh, anticipating and then this is with the if the 15% mitigation was multiplicative rather than uh, just tacked on at the end like this. Again, this is the completely unblocked. I did absolutely nothing um, and this is what ended up happening. We ended up seeing about 81, 838. Um, versus as uh, what we should have expected, which um, we just did, I just basically did a difference here, um, so you can see that uh, right here, so 8.2. So I would have, if it was acting multiplicatively, I should have seen 88, 385, or thereabouts. But instead, we saw that 81 uh, k or so. Now, interestingly, when we did this, um, we ended up still with the 81 k rather than the uh, 88.3 k, even though we didn't. Uh, have that major word major resolve going so exact same reasons all we did was add in the minor main um, So a little bit interesting there and then again it did the exact same thing uh, pairing 
with it multiplicatively versus uh, just tacked on at the end and we did end up seeing that uh, 76k rather than the expected uh where it's i don't know we ended up seeing the 69k rather than the 76k instead but right now grim focus is kind of being tacked on at the end here so it's taking that damage and then multiplying it out so this is like mitigated damage after all the mitigations applied and then multiplying it out by the 0 0.85 rather than how it should be or rather what we anticipated it acting as which is multiplicative like this here where it's just tacked on multiplicatively with all the other damage modifiers whether this is a bug or not not 100 percent certain um, so this will need to be clarified by Zoss probably in the next patch whether this is intended or not. Um, I expect that I think this is unintended because all damage mitigation should be multiplicative with each other. Um, but who knows? Maybe this is Zoss's way of you know kind of buffing Nightblade tanks a little bit more. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys found this informative, and I will see you guys in the next dungeon.